You know, one of my favorite quotes of all time is this quote by Mark Twain. He said, I've experienced many tragedies in my life and some have even happened. It's a really humorous quote. And one of the things that makes it so humorous is that there's so much truth to it. Think about the people that you know who experience tragedies in their mind all the time. It's always, oh my gosh, and they're always worried that something is happening and, and there's no reality to it. They're always living in the negative. They're always living in the dramatic space of their brain. And yet the reality of it is none of those things really ever come to pass. All this wasted energy that they expend worrying and fearing and fretting. And yet those things just don't happen. You know, it is very true that what we look for, we see. And if that is the case, which I believe that it is, then if I begin to worry, if I begin to expend fear about things, I actually might begin to experience those things because I begin to create those things in my own life. So I want to challenge all of us just as leaders, as, as, as human beings. Let's be careful what we say to ourselves. Let's be careful the conclusions that we draw sometimes that we're not certain of, that we immediately begin to maybe worry about something before we even know what's happened. It's, it's like the person who has worried that they've lost their keys and there's a big meeting and they're already worrying about all the implications that are going to happen from being late to their meeting or missing their meeting. But they don't take that energy to expend it on looking for their keys. And when they find their keys, it's like, ah, oh, here are my keys. And they make it to their meeting on time. Meanwhile, all of the energy they just expended worrying and thinking about all the implications of not finding their keys. Now, all of that was for nothing. There was no merit, no benefit in any of that, see? And all you have to do is take that one example and just extrapolate that in so many different areas. How often do we all begin to worry about the implications of things rather than the thing itself right in front of us? I think it's very natural for us to do this. So listen, as leaders, as men, as women, as people, we need to really strive to create a habit, a discipline of thinking that what we do is we spend our time focusing on the thing at hand right there in front of us and not focusing on all the, uh, the ramifications or the implications of something that haven't happened yet. All that does, it causes you to experience many tragedies in your life. And the, and the real tragedy is that most of, most of them will never have happened. So I wanna encourage and challenge all of us to begin really thinking about how we think. Be careful how you worry. Be careful what you fear, because most of the time those things never happen. And yet we expend all of that energy that could have been redirected into areas of creativity or maybe even innovation or even the energy just to take action and to do something rather than sitting and just worrying. So if you're that person who's kind of the chronic worrier, I want you to think about this quote. I want you to challenge yourself this year to really try to rise above this and don't let your mind go two, three, four steps ahead, but try to stay in the moment and just don't waste worry because there's plenty of worry in this life. I don't need to create any extra worry. So hope this helps you. Hope it challenges you to begin thinking about how you think. And let's try to stay in the moment and not extrapolate farther than it needs to go.